Hey, what's happening, guys? What I've got today is this little USB power bank that I picked up from Office Max. It was on one of their end caps up towards the front of the store. And it was $4.95, so hey, $4.95, definitely worth it, right? So as you can see, this is model number, what's that say, G0367, 1800 milliamp hour capacity input, 5 volts, 500 milliamp output, 5 volts, 700 milliamp. So it looks like it contains one 18650. You can see here we have in 5 volts and out 5 volts. I discharged it and then I recharged it and I will show you the capacity. Pardon the handheldness, I have to get up here on my little metery thing. So uh, it charged 1905 milliamp hours. Took about six hours to charge, but that's not too bad. All right, so let's bring out uh, the tester. That's interesting. And we'll put it on here and see what kind of power it really can put out. Alright, so there we are. We're starting out. 50 milliamp hours, or 50 milliamps. Take her up to half an amp, 500 milliamps. We've got a slight voltage drop off, but nothing too bad. Now there we are, just a little bit over the rated current, and we've got definitely more of a voltage drop off. And if I go much further, That's pretty good. Kicking out an amp at 4.6 volts. Let's see if we can take her up a little bit further. Nope. So right around an amp is the kickoff point. That's not too bad. Let's um, open it up and see what kind of cell is inside of it. So I'm thinking it's probably a decent one. This has proven to be a bit of a tricky teardown. In fact, I stabbed myself in the finger already. So bear with me and I'll be back when I get her done. There we go. Uh, so this is a great power 2000 milliamp hour cell. Interesting. And it's not, it doesn't appear to be soldered in. No. It's just, um, got a little spring clip holding it in there. <laughs> Holding it in there rather tightly, I may add. I wonder if it's no, there we go. Oh, it did have some some sticky tape on it. But great power, huh? Well, that's interesting. Let's see if we can get the board out. Yes, indeed. All right, let's take a closer look at that. All right, so what we've got here 
is an inductor and this chip here which is an MP3401A and that's just a p-channel MOSFET other than that we've got capacitor capacitor couple diodes that's it on there so if we take a closer look at the battery we can see that there is protection in the battery itself now other than the um, unknown quantity that is the battery I mean it seems uh, pretty fair for five bucks yeah, it's worth five bucks I guess all right if you guys like this please give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe I've got some cool stuff coming up this week I think you're going to enjoy it I'll catch you next time